Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to design a serial in serial logic register in Verilog language using behavior level modeling. So we are going to perform four built serial in serial logic registers. So we have taken four D flip flops. At clock cycle one, we will give you input. At clock cycle two, this will be transferred to the first D flip flop output. In clock cycle two, it will be transferred to the second D flip flop. In clock cycle three, it will be transferred to third D flip flop. In clock cycle four, we will get the corresponding output in a final output. So to transfer a single bit, it requires some three clock cycles to get into the final output. So for four bit, uh, so we will suppose for example, if we are going to perform, we are going to transfer some four bit data. So it will it will take some amount of time to get in the output of serial output. So for this logic, we will write a coding using behavioral level modeling. Module serial in serial out. We are going to perform and serial in serial out. So here in the serial in serial load, the outputs are and shift. Let us consider shift underscore out shift underscore in and the last input is clock signal. The input is shift underscore in output is shift underscore out. So always we should declare the output as a register in behavioral modeling. The clock also input is input clock. And then here we have three wires. The interconnection between two components are called wires. So we have one, two, three. So this is the story data. So we will declare that as a register. Register two down to zero. Data is a corresponding variable. So whenever positive edge clock arrives, whenever positive edge clock arrives, it will go inside the loop, begin. So here we will write this corresponding block by using non-blocking non statement. Non-blocking statement means at first the all the right hand side, side will be evaluated and then it will be shifted to the left hand side. So here at first this will be your data of 0, data of 1, data of 2 and then say shift out. So at first we will assign this data of 0 to the shift in. And then we will assign the data of 1 to the data of 0. And then we will assign the data of 2 to the data of 1. And then we will assign the shift out to the data of 2. So we will see one by one. At first we will assign the data of 0. So the number blocking statements are assigned by using less than equal to to the shift underscore in and then data of one is assigned to the data of zero data of two is assigned to the data of one And then final output shift out is assigned to the data of 2 in the begin and end module. So this is how we can write a corresponding program for shift serial in serial load. So here this all the right hand side shift in data of 0, data of 1, data of 2 will be right hand side will be evaluated first. And then it will be given to the left hand side. For clock cycle 1, we will have shift off in. In clock cycle 2, two we have data of 0. In clock cycle 3, we have data of 1. In clock cycle 4, we will get the data of 2. And then it will be given to the shift out. So let us copy this program and we will paste in the xilinx. 
so this is the corresponding program has been copied and test bench has been created so just test bench we have shift in and clock zero so for every 15 nanoseconds this will be value will be given inside the register so one So here the third input is zero. Fourth input is one. So for every 15 seconds, the input is keep on changing. At first we have assigned zero and then one and then zero and then one. The clock will be varying for every 25 nanoseconds. The clock will be varying for every 25 nanoseconds. The clock will be keep on toggling. So now let us execute this test bench. Here you can see at first the input is zero and then the input is 1 and then 0 and then the input is 1 so here at first you can see the red line because in the first clock cycle the input is transferring between the components in the second clock cycle the input is transferring in the fourth clock cycle the output is receiving in the output line 0 1 0 1 so the data has been transferred serially we can see it over here 0 1 1 0 and 1 so this 0 has been arrived after clock cycle of one first clock cycle second clock cycle and third clock cycle during fourth clock cycle positive edge trigger the output has been arrived 0 has been arrived so 0 1 0 1 has been serially transferred and we have got the corresponding output thank you for watching